well you sent out another cool product for me to check it out and it's the baby o2 s2 oxygen monitor which is powered by viatom technology this device can remotely measure your baby's heart rate, oxygen, and motion data. And not just that, it can remotely alert you if there are any abrupt changes to the set limit. So let's check it out. Guys, you're watching with Steve, and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review smartwatches, smartphones, smart health trackers, and much more. So if you're into tech, you must consider subscribing. Everything is time coded along the video timeline for your ease of view. Now let's start with price and unboxing. This baby O2 S2 oxygen monitor is listed on their website for 269 US dollar at the time of filming this video and the price may vary at seller's discretion. Check out the video description for direct link to this product and any discounts. Right off the bat, this product is intended for babies up to 3 years of age. So if you're looking for a vital sign monitor for your kid 3 to 10 years of age, you must check out their kids O2 pediatric oxygen monitor. Again, links are in the video description. And value also have product for seniors and adults like you and me. And I have linked the review video of many of their products at the end of this video. So be sure to check it out. Now it came in a box like this one. Inside the box, there are a few stickers, which I'm sure your kids will like it. A customer service card, a quick guide for the monitor split wraps, the user manual, the base station that gives you audio alerts at a range of up to 32 feet, the base station charging stand, which thankfully has a USB type C charging port. baby o2s2 heart rate and oxygen monitor itself and the extra split strap just like the one that is on and two pairs of a different type of soft wrap which does not have the center split piece and it can be used for slightly older kids close to about three years of age stick around i'm going to explain you the use case for both these type of straps there is a USB type A to type C charging cable with which you can charge the base station. But I just use any of my smartphone charger and it just works fine. There is a data charging cable which you can plug directly into the baby O2S2 unit to transfer the reading to your PC or laptop or charge the device itself. Now in terms of specs, you can just pause the video to read through all the detailed specs of this baby O2S2 device. But few things to point out is that this monitor can store 4 sessions up to 10 hours each at a max. So you need to make sure to sync the reading to your phone as if you don't, the first reading will get override by the new one. This device has Bluetooth 4.0 low energy and it is IP22 dust and water resistance and not waterproof. And as I said earlier, pause to read through the pulse rate and oxygen level, range and accuracy along with weight and dimension. Now in terms of battery life, both the device and the base station has lithium polymer rechargeable battery. So no need to change the battery cell, just plug it in and charge. The battery life of the device itself is 16 hours which is accurate from my testing and the base station has a rating of 168 hours. Honestly, since I have used this device, I never had to charge the base station. Just like this Pulsebit EX portable personal ECG reader which I have never charged since I reviewed it and the video of it is linked in the video description. Both the device and the base station would take about 2-3 to three hours to fully charge. I really wish that this baby O2S2 device had a type C port versus this type of port which would make it super easy to charge as I have to carry this data slash charging cable with me all the time to juice this device up. Okay now let's talk about design and fitting. Now basically the device is very tiny and super lightweight. It has a tiny display which just shows the heart rate and SpO2 reading. There is a power button on the side and a data charging port. At the back there are few details and two strap loops where you can slide in the soft ankle wraps or the split wraps. Now let's start with the split wrap installation first. To make it easy, make sure the blue part of the strap is aligned to the display side. Now slide in the longer ankle strap through both the loop of the device itself. 
once this ankle strap is installed now let's install the actual l-shaped sensor through the foot strap start by sliding the port in the split gap like this now slide the part that houses the sensor through this slit in a way that the light emitting sensor and the light detector sensor are facing you as if they are facing on the other way around it won't detect now the idea behind this type of sensor versus a ring sensor is that the ring sensors are too big for toddlers or kids under three years of age so for them the sensor is designed to be placed on the other part of the foot around the last two toes or the tarsal bones. Now a very important tip here is that when you place the sensors make sure that the sensor is wrapped around the foot in a way that the emitter is facing straight to the detector as if it does not then the readings won't be recorded properly. So if you're not getting the reading it's likely because of the placement. Now since my girl is three and a half year old, this split wrap will be too short as this split wrap works the best for kids under two years of age or whose foot is smaller in size. In that case, they have provided an extra ankle and a foot strap. The installation process of the ankle wrap is same as the previous one. But for the foot strap, now there are two slits instead of one as the port goes through the top slit and the L sensor goes through the other slit as shown earlier. With this type of wrap you can attach the device higher up on the ankle or mid leg as there is enough length on this cord. And the foot loop goes around the last two toes as shown earlier, again making sure to align the emitter and the detector in a straight line. Now in terms of fitting, this baby O2S2 fits quite well on my 3.5 year old daughter. I have used it for a test night and for the whole night it did not come off despite of my daughter tossing and turning around her crib. And I personally find that the split wrap would be more secure. But overall, in terms of fitting and security of attachment, this device is great. Now, the setup process is pretty straightforward. You have to download the vHealth app, which is available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Once installed, you will find the Baby O2S2 device as soon as you turn it on and bring it close to the phone. Once connected, you will get a live screen showing the oxygen level and heart rate as well as the PI that is the perfusion index that indicates pulse strength at the sensor site, along with the Bluetooth connected icon and battery level of the device. You can also change the profile picture to your kid's photo. Now on the bottom panel, you can access history. Let's have a look at the test night where the reading shows the recording time, average oxygen, highest and lowest level, lower than 90% level, average pulse rate with highest and lowest. You can also access the graphs for both oxygen and pulse rate and you can even pinch zoom to go to a desired spot. At the very bottom, there is the motion data, which you can see how many times and at what time did your kid moved. Moving on under settings, you will get all the settings to set the oxygen and the heart rate reminder with the lower and the higher range, offline reminders in dashboard and all the other options, which are pretty self-explanatory. Under Discover, you can access your login credentials and you can also subscribe to their online backup plan starting at $2.69 per month and you can also get a bundled price. With this backup plan, you can access all the readings from all the value devices from anywhere on any mobile device or a PC as far as you're able to log in with your account. So the whole app experience in my opinion is exceptionally great and very user friendly. Now you can plug this device directly to a PC but you have to download the PC software. The O2 Insight Pro current version is 1.6.0 which is for free from their website which says it is for all these devices that also includes the BBO2. 
Once downloaded, when you open the software and click on the top left download button, the software will just download all four readings from the device for you to see it on your computer. You can also export it to a variety of format for the pediatrician to see the result. Here is a sample recording of my daughter's sleep and I personally like this graph over the one in the mobile app as it is very easy to interpret. Let me know which one do you prefer. Now let's briefly talk about the base station. The base station is very compact and lightweight. The base station is the primary difference between the Baby O2 and the Baby O2 S2 as the Baby O2 is only 149 US dollar but it does not have the base station like this Baby O2 S2. If you are fine with the mobile app then you don't need to spend the extra money to get this Baby O2 S2 but like me if you put the phone into a do not disturb mode at night time or you just try to avoid keeping your cell phone near you while you're sleeping then having this base station is a worth option as this station does not need to be paired with your phone it just directly connects to the Baby O2 S2 unit when it's in the Bluetooth range. It even shows the time on the top right. On the top left, it shows the Bluetooth range and the battery level with the readings at the center. You can get direct alert for the set range from the device to this base station and you can even control the volume and trust me, it's quite loud and it will wake you up. Unfortunately, you cannot change the ringtone or do anything else that's about it with this base station. Now let's test its reading out against a finger oximeter. As you can see the readings are not too far apart. And this device is a consumer product that provides parents with insight to their baby's heart rate and auto level and it's by no means a diagnostic device and it should not be intended to self-investigate, cure or treat any health condition. If you're concerned you must see your child's pediatrician. So here are my final thoughts. This Baby O2 S2 oxygen monitor is a very unique device, robust quality with a great app experience. If your child suffers from any pulmonary condition, just talk to your child's pediatrician about this device and you can use this device to monitor the level and even export any concerning result to your child's doctor. The fitting of this device in my opinion is amazing. No matter how much your child will move around in the crib, this device will not come off. And since it is on the foot, there is no risk of entanglement. From my testing, my child did not even wake up with this device strapped onto her foot. The base station is very handy option as you don't really need to pair this device to a phone as the base station will provide you instant audio alert for any abrupt changes to the vital sign levels. The only caveat to this device will be the charging port. I really wish it was a USB type C or a micro USB port. So it would be super easy to charge it with any charger and even easy to transfer data to a PC. But hey, it's not a deal breaker at all. I really appreciate the ability to transfer data to a PC easily and for free. The mobile app is also very easy to navigate and overall this device is certainly an easy recommendation. Check out the links in the video description in case if you want to get this. That's about it with this episode. Thanks so much for watching and check out these health trackers as you may find them helpful.